Excuse me. Excuse me. Quack, quack. Hello. What vegetables y'all not stole? Come here, buddy. I know you want some of these wheats. Some of these wheats. Yummy. Is that yummy? Why y'all side-eyeing me? Let's talk about it. Why are you side-eyeing me, little duck? This duck has the sharpest side eye. Just look. That one beady little eye just staring at me off from the side of your head. Like I haven't been half eating y'all raspberries. Just rude. Come on now. Oh, what else is going on? Okay, so. Whatever grass this is, it popped up from wherever. It's really filling in. It's not something that I planted, but it is softening the edge and helping keep that edge from eroding. Um, so I feel like as this water level gradually rises more, as the ducks do their duck duty and clog it up, um, since I don't think this is any type of plant that'll uh acclimate to having its roots actually grow underwater so the pond does like actually go all the way up to there so half of this grass would be underwater so i feel like the plants that i actually put on that ledge should take over as i guess that one gets drowned more or less uh this is a process um, there was some bamboo over here before, but I was just throwing, after a while, just throwing dirt up here, just trying to get it out of the pond to make the pond as deep as possible. So maybe the bamboo decided it didn't want to live anymore. I don't know, but there's some strawberries over here hanging on for dear life, and they're like running. They started running before I even finished digging this pond again. So this comfrey is doing good. They cut it back at first, but with us having not in it, like it wasn't raining regularly, so uh, it's taking too long to grow back. So I'm gonna just leave it be for now, so that not only softening this edge, but it gives more cover for the ducks. I swear it was a lot. It was like way bigger than this before I cut it back, and it's still coming back or regrowing. So, got some sweet potato vines finally starting to look like something. I swear, well, this time last year, I was fighting sweet potato vines. They were trying to eat me. So, this really ain't just been like the year for a lot of stuff. But my little asparagus patch doing good. There is the lion's head Japanese maple tree underneath this asparagus. So, it's getting some shade from this asparagus. That's the tree right there. It's doing pretty good. Looks like I will get my two feet this year. Um, got taro, aka an edible elephant ear. So I'm hoping those will get huge and that'll help cover the pine some too so the ducks won't be just out in the open. But the thing about that is that, but the thing about that is that um, half of these plants rest in the winter so i don't really know too much about what i'm gonna do for the winter to give them some cover from the open sky at that point but i'm hoping those the tarot starts to get really big like this one here that'll give us give them some cover until that point um oh that's not true i mean not that but for cover so i have some tree collards over there they not doing too hot in this off season i guess summer doesn't agree with them so I'm hoping to prop start propagating more of those as it gets cooler along here. And those should get pretty big. Maybe even to the point where um, 
they'll be growing out over top of the pond so the ducks like they even eating stuff directly from the edge so they'll be able to eat leaves while in here and that should help give them some cover in the off season if you will so that hopefully will help so they're not like just sitting ducks <laughs> And the winter when everything is not doing too much well of course the com well here in my food forest I've actually had my comfrey grow throughout the year even though I was cutting it back in the winter too so that should be pretty huge in the off season hopefully will help will grow like over more and more over here across this ledge that's some strawberries and some clover to help give them some cover there's a little a little olive tree over there that's supposed to uh, be an evergreen so as that grows in that should also help I'm thinking about planting some more olive trees I only have two right now one of them decided it didn't want to make it this past winter so the only reason that it, only way that'll be helpful because they need a second different type to cross pollinate but apparently not just any two will do so i have to get a pair to match the other tree that decided it wanted to live that's a mess so anyways i probably planted near this pond to give another evergreen cover so they'll have something all season all year round to give them uh some protection not a, um only from the sun but from flying predators but of course by that point in time they'll be big but even still i guess they probably don't want to be out here baking in the sun not that it's sunny today but in general uh trying to see about some sugar cane which is over there somewhere let's see if i can walk and talk and not trip despite the relative dryness of this season oh the goji berries are spreading blackberries are spreading I need to cut, dig, move them someplace else because they're trying to attack me. Not to the ducks' mind because they've been eating the life out of these raspberries. So, there's that little bamboo over there across that way. So, I'm wondering if the ducks will eat bamboo uh, shoots like when they're soft as they are an edible type of grass. So growing some bamboo we shall see but that'll also give them some year-round sky coverage help block winds and keep my food forest warmer oh and provide something for me to train my grapevines up so have some grapevines growing up into this apple tree now i don't know if this is as tall as this tree is gonna get i'm hoping that these branches will get up higher as this tree grows so that i won't have to duck to go underneath this but i'm gonna let it rock for now and if that's not the case i can cut these branches off and then train the vines up here but the ducks also like grapes and grape vines so um all of the grapes that grow up high will be for me anything they can reach is for them I'm not gonna fight them. I got stuff to do in my life. Almost peach season. Although I think it's been peach season. I don't know if these are gonna get any riper. They're not. They're still really hard. So maybe that's as ripe as they get. Seems unlikely. The hardest peach I've ever seen. But uh, that's just what's going on. So keep up and stuff. Till next time.